Welcome to Silver Pro, sponsored by SD Bullion. I am your host, Yankee Stacking, and I'm joined by my wonderful co-host, the uh, <clears throat> significantly younger and hip Silver Dragons. <laughs> What's up? Happy to be here. This is going to be a really fun episode talking about really good and really bad ways to sell your silver, right? Yeah, this is foreign to me in my stacking strategy. I, I might need some therapy when this is over, dude. <laughs> well, while that may be the case, you should always have an exit strategy, whatever mm. it may be, right? Mm. Some idea of what you want to do if the worst happens and you have to sell. Well, Or if you want to sell, I guess. Right, I mean, <laughs> I am seeing more and more people selling their silver. Please leave a comment down below on this video answering this question. When would you sell your silver for cash? And I mean mm. cash, okay? Do you, do you do it to pay the bills? Like a savings account? Would you do it to make a profit or stop a, a loss? Like a, an investment account? Or would it be only in a last resort in case insurance. of an emergency? Right, right, insurance. Yeah, so when you go to sell your silver, you know, a lot of the terms are going to be just like when you buy your silver, right? Like spot price. Mm. A lot of us know pretty much what spot price is. It's kind of like base price for silver. But, you know, it's actually determined by futures contracts. Mm -hmm. uh, so usually the next month's futures contract will determine the spot price that we have today. So it's it's a little backwards, right? That right. paper silver determines the price for physical silver. But of course, we have premiums, which is mm -hmm. the actual price for silver. So it's going to be the spot price plus the premium. So that's when you're buying silver, right? Do you get a premium when you sell your silver? What do you think, Yankee? Do you ever get a premium? Yeah, sometimes you do, depending yep. on what it is. But you'll Absolutely. Also, but sometimes you're going to see words like ask and bid. Could you just explain simply, when we're talking selling your silver, which one should you be focused on? So that's going to be the bid. Mm -hmm. So when we look at ask, that's kind of like what you're buying it for. Mm -hmm. The bid is going to be the buyback price, right? This is going to be what they're paying you for your silver. So maybe it'll say something like bid plus a dollar, right. um, spot plus a dollar, something like that. That's how much they're willing to pay. So my local coin shop, actually, they have all of the sell and buy prices. Mm -hmm. And so the bid would be the buyback price. Uh, they have it right there when you walk in the coin shop so you know okay, if I buy this for $2 over spot, well, that's a low premium, let's say $5 over spot, and I sell it back, it'll say right there, we're going to buy it back for a dollar over spot. So in that example, you would be losing $4 if you bought it and sold it right away. Right. That's the spread. Yeah. That's the spread. So you want that spread right. to be as low as possible, right? Right. But there, there are other considerations, right? When you're going to sell your silver... Uh, that will determine what you get for it. Like the dealer that you're dealing with, what's their supply like? Is the dealer having some you know, financial stress and needs the cash? Or is he low on certain types and he, and he knows there's a buyer and he wants it really you know, badly? Maybe he'll give you a little extra for it. But the type, if it's a sovereign silver, a government minted silver piece or one ounce coin, that will fetch you more usually than some generic uh, round. The condition matters. Uh, the market and what it's doing, the volatility. I know for a fact that if the market is dropping like it is now, it's harder for bullion dealers to give you top dollar because they give you that and then they have to turn around and sell it. They're going to lose. So it, it's a challenge. All those things factor in to what you're going to get when you sell your silver. When I first started stacking, you know, I was buying silver eagles for three dollars over spot mm -hmm. and the buyback price was a dollar over spot so it's a two dollar spread and now they're paying six or seven dollars over spot to buy them back yeah. so it's just because the demand is crazy uh i wouldn't recommend stacking eagles right now but if i had to sell something mm -hmm. i i don't know i mean i'd probably be looking at those eagles because the buyback price is just crazy you want to sell what is most liquid first 
Mm-hmm. And what has the lowest premium first? Like if you bought a bunch of semi numismatic coins, I wouldn't be selling those first. No. You're going to lose more than you should, right? What would be your last thing that you would want to sell? Well, I think probably what you got right in front of you, Yankee, constitutional. <laughs> because we all stack for different reasons. But if you needed silver to barter with, that is what you'd want to have, constitutional mm -hmm. silver. Mm -hmm. So that would probably be the last thing to sell. But I do agree, uh, get rid of the most liquid stuff. So we're talking... Uh, your big bars, your sovereign silver coins, mm -hmm. uh, that type of stuff. Uh, but when you say lowest premium, I cannot agree more with that. When we're talking about the semi numies, mm -hmm. you don't want to be selling your crazy collector coins to your local coin shop for, you know, a round price or, you know, the same price as a maple leaf or something because they're not going to pay you, you know, triple spot for some collector's thing with a special number. They're gonna give you spot or a little bit over. Mm -hmm. So be really careful, you know, when you're stacking, just just be aware of that. Don't go crazy on the fun stuff. <laughs> you know, one of the worst ways to sell, this, this has gotta be the worst way, is in a panic. They see the price dropping and they just, I gotta liquidate, I gotta sell now. And, and, and it reminds me about how people treat uh, their stocks. So if you're a stock trader or investor, you put in um, what's called stop losses, right? So those are lines where you don't want to cross. And when it hits that, you you sell, you liquidate, you 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 sell your stock, you execute the order. Uh, and that, you know, you might want to do that with, you know, the, the paper markets. If you want to do it with SLV or PSLV or something like that, that's fine. But with physical, I think the best way to sell would be with a lot of patience, being very deliberate, and very reluctant to. Does yeah. That, does that make sense? Well, I mean, you know, going back to the the spread. Mm -hmm. If you buy sell if you buy silver and you're forced to sell it, you know, later that week or later that month, just looking at the spread, you're pretty much always going to take a loss mm -hmm. unless silver jumps up the next day, you know. Mm -hmm. So, when you're stacking, I mean, patience is like one of the main things you need, but definitely when it comes to selling, be patient and you know, I would really kind of stress trying to sell other things first. Like if you really need the money, if it's for bills or an emergency, I mean, hey, it's great to have gold and silver because they are liquid. You can get rid of them quick, turn them into cash. But if you could sell other things and hold on to your precious metals, that's what I would try and do. And some, some people, again, that treat silver and gold like uh, an investment, pure investment will will regularly rebalance their portfolios they'll take profits you know and then reinvest them and shift them around uh they may even play the ratio uh there are reasons if you're treating your precious metals like an investment and you're trading them to sell it but don't do it in a panic that is the worst time to do it so can we talk about where to sell your silver where a good place and where a bad place would be? Absolutely. Uh, who would you want to sell your silver to first? Okay, so if I got to pick like yep. in, a, in a, an ideal scenario, mm -hmm. I would like to go to the place where I bought it. Get ready for SD Bullion's Monster Box sweepstakes that includes 500 silver eagles. You could be the next lucky recipient of a phone call like this. This is Dr. Tyler Wall, CEO of SD Bullion. Well, I'm calling you to let you know that you won the SD Bullion giveaway of a monster box of Silver Eagles. So click the link below for your chance to win. And I think this is a, a great exit strategy for, for anyone, really. But the place you bought it, you have a relationship with them, you know. And, I, I mean, they're going to be the best person to offload it to. So for me, it would probably be a local coin shop and there's a lot of reasons why i would like to go to a local coin shop over say an online bullion dealer um number one they're gonna give me cash and a lot of people like cash in cash out when it comes to precious metals um you know we don't have to get into the whole paper trail and all that kind of stuff oh yeah um so sell it for cash but also no shipping no insurance 
Um, literally, I walk in with my silver, I walk out with cash. So for me, ideally, it would probably be my local coin shop. Wouldn't you agree? I, I would definitely agree. And also for the fact that you don't have to do large lots. I know with online bullion dealers, they expect more than just onesies, twosies, right? So if you go into an LCS dealer and you want to sell a few eagles, you can do that. Oh, no problem. Online, a lot tougher to do that. Yeah, with shipping, I would say if you want to sell online, uh, for example, to like SD Bullion, our sponsor, mm -hmm. or any other online bullion dealer, um, you're really going to want to sell large quantities um, just because of the shipping and all that kind of stuff. So I would kind of use that as the last resort if you have a legitimate local coin shop near you. But hey, some people don't live near a coin shop at all, right? Right. I will show uh, how to get to SD Bullion's um, page to sell your yeah. precious metals up here. Uh, sell to us. This is the Docs deals. Some really good deals going on. But let me click here, sell to us. Very simple. They say it's as easy as one, two, three, right? So you would call them. You would explain exactly what it is that you are selling. And they'll mm -hmm. answer, you know, answer any questions. They'll have, maybe have some questions for you around the type and date and, and, and condition and so forth. Um, but then they'll lock in a price with you, right? They'll send, you'll have a, a purchase order. You'll print that out and they'll have to ship it to them. And then after they receive it and inspect it for authenticity, they will uh, pay you. Now it's going to take what? One to three business days after that to get your cash. Uh, yeah, so I mean, even if you ship it really fast, yeah. you're probably still looking at like a week till you actually get your cash. And I think a lot of us, when we want to sell, we probably need the cash right away. But if yeah. you're selling for a profit and you can wait and this is the only way to do it, then there you go. Here are the minimums that I mentioned earlier. Silver, they it's 20 ounces. So they want a tube of, of eagles or something uh, and they'll do one ounce for the other stuff. And, and down I here... You know, it, right away, it's like, oh, my word, if I give them a 2022 American Silver Eagle, I'm going to get bid price plus seven bucks. Is that right, SD? Well, you're going to have to give them 500 Eagles. Yeah. Uh, if you scroll up, <laughs> they actually show you uh, right. the quantities to get these prices. Um, so you'd have to be selling back a whole monster box. Now, if you're just selling a tube, right here. Um, I don't know if it would be like a dollar less mm -hmm. or... or Probably what I would do is look at the how much they're selling them for, and then you can kind of go off of that because you know when you're buying uh, the the bigger quantities, obviously you get a better deal. So same with selling. If you're selling a bigger quantity, you're going to get more money than if you're selling a smaller quantity, you know, per ounce. Right. So just keep that in mind. So there are a lot of extra steps, um, but you sometimes sometimes can get a better deal with an online bullion dealer when you're selling your silver. I still agree with you though, SC. My first choice would be the dealer that I bought my silver from because of that, of that relationship. I think there'd be a good opportunity there and I just love the fact of getting cash. How about other areas like um, uh, eBay or uh, Facebook Marketplace or OfferUp? What do you think of those? Um, it is kind of risky uh, if you're pretty new to it you're not familiar with all the scams and stuff like that um and if, if you're meeting in person <laughs> there's obviously other risks yep. associated with that but i mean when it comes to like fees and whatnot um they're probably going to be pretty high when you sell on ebay you have to pay your ebay fee you have to pay uh you know shipping or or you factor in shipping uh paypal fee stuff like that and so, you know, you have to add that into your price. Now, if you wanted to sell individual, like, collector coins, I probably would sell them on eBay. Yes. That's probably where I would offload those. I would mm -hmm. not take those to my local coin shop. But just know you're going to have to pay all those fees. How about a jeweler or, or a, a pawn shop? <laughs> Are you kidding? I, I've had people say, Yankee, you don't understand. I've got the greatest pawn shop in America. They, they give me the best deals. That is the exception to the rule, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah um, most of the time, jewelers and pawn shops, terrible place to sell. Hopefully, that will help people if they want to sell their silver. But here's my bottom line, Esty. When it comes to selling your silver, just don't. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, come on, Yankee. There is a time and a place. Just make sure that when it comes to selling, you do it the best way, right? All right. Well, I agree. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Silver Pros. Stack like a pro.